Okay, so I've been thinking about this for some time now. What if the grid goes down and you're in your home, everybody has looted and rioted, but you slept through it because you work night shift and you don't get off until um, 7 in the morning. Something happens at about 9 o'clock in, in the a.m. And unfortunately, you're sleeping because that's what you normally do after you get off of an 11 to 7 shift. Okay, so all the food is gone. Um... Everything is pretty much depleted. There's nothing in the stores, but you have food and you have supplies on hand. How do you cook what you have on hand? Well, what I was considering was the fact that because I own a small barbecue grill, and it's one of those single barbecue grills, maybe a $45, $50 uh, grill, that you could barbecue. But in doing so, you're going to probably alert people to your presence or the fact that you still have food in, in your home for them to take and eat. And unfortunately, you won't be the one preparing it and eating it. But uh, this gives off that distinctive barbecue smell as well as um, the additional smoke. So you will actually alert people to the presence that you are cooking something at your home. So how do you go about cooking without alerting people to your presence? Well, the best way is with the, the uh, devices that I have here. You have the solar oven, which comes with two pots and a water tester. Uh, the reflectors right there and then the lid over here. This is the best way to cook food. It, Unfortunately, it is a very tedious task to use this, this um, oven. It takes between two and a half hours, depending on what you're cooking, to eight hours to cook a meal in, in this oven. So it will be a slow and very steady process for you. But of course, you, you, you're utilizing the sun, you, you're getting those UV rays, and it's something that you can sit outside and go back in, and then it's, go back out later on and, and get your food, and it's ready right there available for you and nobody is the wiser they don't know you're doing it they can't smell it it's just it doesn't give off any any smoke or any indication that you're there so that is a key and, and, and very important thing to have in your preps also it is important to have the small camping ovens um excuse me camping stoves this one is the micro uh, Max stove. It uses the um, it uses the uh, blended fuel, and then this one is the single burning camping stove. It uses propane. This one is everybody knows this one very well. This is the MSR. It uses the MSR fu um, fuel or the blended fuel as well. It can fit on that nozzle also. But uh, the the best way to do it if you're in one of those crap hit the fan scenarios or just in case moments is to have. 100 hour burning candle and are the 10 10 hour burning candles and have something that you can just heat up for the moment for the time being instead of trying to prepare a full meal and uh, I mean if you can go out and you can do your charcoal grills these are good methods to start the fire if you can't get wood and it's not readily available to you you have your fire sticks your magnesium starter and um, steel wool cotton balls and the storm matches but an old throwback way to cooking um spur of the moment is with the um, single burner which is right here this one is a, uh, I think it's a 1100 watt burner. So if you don't have a way to produce um, electricity, then this one is definitely going to be a hard method to use. I got but this idea from a friend, a YouTube friend named Matt, and I am thoroughly impressed with it. It's a quart can with a roll of toilet tissue stuffed inside and alcohol poured over it. I did this probably about a year and a half ago when he introduced it to me, took the top off just now. And of course you see, I am inside my home. Let's see if it works still okay so it still works this is a very good option for you inside or for heating and you simply blow it or you can just put the top over it and um, that's pretty much that this is what I was thinking how would I cook food in a crap hit fan scenario it's very hard to say that if you're locked if you're hunkering down in your home that you're going to be able to cook uh, full course meals for your family so you have to have meals that are ready to eat which are MREs uh, dehydrated freeze-dried anything that you can boil water and add or uh, stuff that you can just heat up so that's just food for thought Thanks for viewing A Woman's World Out.